For this nerd corner here, I want to talk about a classic game known as Wild Arms. In this old school game for the PlayStation 1, you have a team of three, just three characters. RPG with only three characters, I know. In a Wild West meets JRPG setting. And it, it's a very unusual blend of genres here, where you have a JRPG with monsters and invading creatures and all that good shit. But at the same time, it's set in a very Western feel world where the characters are running around. There's like farms and everybody, you know, people have guns and there's that dusty Wild West feel to things, even as it's being a JRPG. And it's more or less a splicing of genres that is unusual and highly successful. It was implemented in a simple yet complex manner. It is both at the same time, where with three characters, the mechanics are straightforward. Each character has a role, they fill it, and that sort of thing. But it uses the fact that it only has three characters to develop their roles into more varied uses. Like, your healer doesn't just heal, the magic user and all sorts of things go into it. Every character has unique different abilities and powers that make their use strategic. But... The greater thing that comes from this game, actually, is the inventiveness of the creators of it, where they created a game that was more than just what else was out. It was a JRPG, yes, but it didn't go with that standard, typical fantasy setting that so many of them use. It went with something truly unique and innovative, and it was different. And it was successful because it was different that unique feel it had made it fun to play in a way that other JRPGs of the time weren't fun. You know, because really, they were doing a lot of the same. Yeah, you had Final Fantasy VII, but for the most part, a lot of them were standard fantasy setting with standard fantasy monsters and standard European-esque fantasy feel, or a more traditional Japanese fantasy. This was Wild West. It was different, new. It was someplace fantasy hadn't yet really touched. So... When I played it as a kid, it really expanded my own horizons, and it, it spoke to that idea that I think is lost a lot in games now, which is this idea that game designers are now af afraid to take steps outside of their comfort zones, that they are no longer willing to go beyond the accepted thresholds of genre to try and experiment with something new. Now it's kind of what's safe. Follow the formula. A game was successful, well then you have a bunch of other games using those same mechanics or that kind of setting or that sort of thing. And what is safe is what is done. What makes money is what is worked with. And I think that's unfortunate because games like Wild Arms generally don't happen anymore where a unique blend of setting and story and idea have come together for what could have been potentially a bad game and some of the later Wild Arms aren't so good. But the first one was a shining gem because it dared to be different. And I would say that if more game designers could look at that lesson and more game players could demand these sorts of new titles, that, well, we might actually have a new slew of good games. Because if you ask me, I'm not saying that all the games are bad with some kind of get-off-my-lawn sort of old-school thing here. I'm just saying that a lot of them now seem to play follow the leader. They seem to be similar to one another. And I think that's tragic because you do lose the sorts of random titles that, like Wild Arms, end up being amazing just because they're different and unique. And I think we should, you know, perhaps some of us at least, if you're a passionate gamer, should try to send some mail to a game design company you like and ask for something different, perhaps, or if you have an idea, send it their way, perhaps. I mean, they might not listen, but I, for one, as a nerd, am kind of getting a little bit bored of the most recent game selection titles, and I've been looking back at games like Wild Arms and saying, well, where did that spark go? And feel free to disagree if you're playing the games and you think they're still just as creative, that's fine, but I think, and I'm not alone in this, I'm sure, that they've lost that vital spark of creativity, and I think we should try to get it back, you know? Demand some new, interesting, unique things, and who knows, maybe something will come of it. Just something to think about. Oh, your best example is one where they took two very basic ideas and merged them together. Oh, that's so innovative. Never said it was my best example. <laughs> there you go.